So for someone that's a young person coming up, yeah. what is the best piece of advice you can give to them to make it to be successful? Right. So if someone were to say to me from absolute ground zero, how to get rich? Mm -hmm. All right. That's a good question. So I would say do two things. The first thing I would say you should do is develop a phone addiction. Mm -hmm. And you should develop a phone addiction, but you should refuse to consume content mm -hmm. and only create content. Genius. So it doesn't, I have, I will say right here, right now, I have a genuine phone addiction. Me too. I, I, nine, 10 hours a day screen time. Me too. I live on my phone. I'm on my phone. That's where the money is. That's where the pussy is. Back. So where else am I going to be? <laughs> right? I'm on my phone. I'm on my, I'm, I'm, you see me. I'm always just on my phone, right? Uh, I have a phone addiction, but I'm not consuming a bunch of cr crap, right? I'm producing. I'm producing on my Twitter account. I'm constantly tweeting. Doesn't matter if it's just tweets. Doesn't matter if it's TikToks. Doesn't matter if it's YouTube videos. Produce, 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 produce. Yep. If you spend all those waking hours producing, eventually people will pay attention to you. Yes. And we live in an attention economy. Yep. This is the economy we now live in. It's no longer about competence like it used to be. It's not even so much. It's it's about attention and it's about network. It's those two things. It's who you know and it's how many people pay attention to you. So if you develop a phone addiction and you refuse to consume and you only create, you'll start to attract attention sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And when you can do that, there's usually lots of different ways to monetize it. So if someone came to me and said, I have nothing, no skills, no money, nothing, and I had to get rich, I'd say that's what you should do. You should get a phone and develop a phone addiction and you should start to create. Look at you guys. Six months ago, you started to create something. Yeah. Now here we are. Bang. You have to create things in the world we live in. You have to create things. When you create things, you'll get attention, and you can always find a way to monetize attention. Jake Paul has monetized attention. Yes, yep. that's all he's done. He hasn't. He hasn't been. A, he hasn't made his money being the best boxer. He's monetized attention. You have to yep. find a way for people to pay attention to you. From Vine to Instagram to YouTube. Yep. You know. Yep. And uh, no, that that's that's fantastic, it, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's all I never money. thought about that. Yeah. And networking is very powerful because once again, you might know one thing, but your buddy over here, he's smart at investing. He's smart at you know. Yep. Like for example. I feel like most guys are very ego driven yep. and they think they know everything. Yep. No, you don't. Yeah. You're good at one thing, let's say you're good at marketing, your buddy's good at, you know, finance. But you put that together, you got a team now, mm -hmm. and that makes you grow. Yeah, and let's talk about network quickly, because I run a network on CobraTech.com. There's the war room, which is a network of mine. So right. networking is extremely important for for a couple of reasons. If you were in a room with ice cream experts and all they talked about was ice cream, how to make it, how to store it, how to move it, the different flavors, the size of the cartons it's in, how much it costs to produce. If all they talked about was ice cream and you were in that room, sooner or later, when someone comes to you to ask you something about ice cream, you're going to know the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're going to accidentally know some shit about ice cream. If you're in a room of people who only talk about money, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So you need to be around people who are about it. And the problem is with the people out here, everyone has a dream, but not many people have a plan. A dream and a plan are different things. When you say to guys, do you want to be rich? Yeah, I want to be rich. How will you get rich? Uh, you know, one day when the shit comes in. <laughs> so you can have a dream with no plan. When's the last time something fantastic has ever happened on accident? When's the last time you've seen a big jacked dude and you say, hey, man, how'd you get so jacked? And he goes, don't know. Oops. Don't know. <laughs> don't know. It, just, it just happened. No, he planned it. Mm -hmm. He went to the gym. He worked for it. He ate a certain way. He planned his meals. He had to make it happen. It's exactly the same with getting rich. You need a plan to get rich, right? Most people have, everyone out there has a dream, but very few people have a plan. Yep. If you're surrounded by people who have a plan to get rich, and you provide value to them in some way because they're not going to drag you up if you ain't doing nothing because yeah. that's what friendship is. Friendship is value exchange. Yeah. If you provide value to them, sooner or later you're going to begin to make money.